Rick and Morty. I don't know what to say, but I love Rick and Morty. I love Rick and Morty, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I love Rick and Morty. But. <gasps> Excuse me, y'all. I've been up kind of early. I've been up kind of early, but we about to go ahead and get into this. Smartest man in the universe with enemies lurking in every corner of the game. Moral Rick and Morty is a show about brick and mortar. Brick is the amoral mad scientist and the smartest man in the universe with enemies lurking in every corner of the galaxy. Even his and mortar is also there. Follow their multi-dimensional sci-fi adventures destroying aliens, monsters, and the human code of ethics. Through their adventures, Mortar slowly learns that doing the right thing is usually the wrong thing. And though Brick might act like a selfish jerk, deep down he really does care about his grandkids, provided he stands to benefit from it and the robot replacements he built aren't working yet. Mortar's parents let Brick live in their garage and nearly kill their son every week because they're the worst. Jerry is Morty's spineless loser of a dad who gets almost as much hate from Brick as he does from the universe. His wife Beth is a horse surgeon because she keeps backing the wrong ones. Watch two seasons of B-plots fueled by their uncertain marital status that flips back and forth so frequently that it's probably being used to power another Brick's flux capacitor or something. Wow, a flux capacitor. Real original there, Gene Roddenberry. What, 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 what is this? What are you supposed to be like some kind of me from another dimension or something and eh, more or less that's a pretty stupid bit yeah you're right this is getting a little meta <laughs> Uh, all right, we're moving on, everybody. Once in a while, Brick and Mortar are joined on their adventures by Mortar's older sister, Summer. Summer's a pretty cool action girl and a foil to Mortar who's pissed herself or mentioned pissing herself so many times that I'm starting to think someone on the staff is into it. Like, I'm not <laughs> judging. I'm not saying it's a problem. Just... just pointing it out. The dialogue is sort of kind of really like a casual, like a like a sort of an ad-lib vibe going on which has to be really easy to bank off of when Justin Roiland is playing anywhere from 65 to 100% of the cast. I mean, he's not wrong. Fall in love with the memorable side characters, like the Me-Seeks. Okay. Like uh, Mr. Poopy Butthole. Okay. Like Bird Person. <laughs> Alright, fine. Don't fall in love with anyone. Love isn't real anyway. It's just probably some side Dial and they wrong attack on time. Side effect of an alien pooping in your space brain. Like all good sci fi, Rigor Mortis shines a light on the human condition by getting as far away from it as possible. Everything and everyone is the worst, all meaning is assigned arbitrarily, and nothing really matters. So you should just try to enjoy yourself or kill everybody. Not that those are mutually exclusive. Watch as Mortar goes from a starry-eyed child and the audience's point of reference to a jaded tag-along whose greatest adventure with Rick will be eventually murdering him. And just when you're convinced that this show is a comedy, it punches you in the gut like a ton of bricks in the last minute of an episode as all the dialogue cuts out and all you're left with is an obscure song and sadness. When you outgrow me When you've outgrown me when you outgrow me, will you leave in time? And will you leave me? Yeah, will you leave me when you're done? When you're done? When you're Not gonna lie, they they really how it is. Especially when they had to bury they self, bruh. Thank you so much for watching. If